So I found this thing the other day. It's called the Pico Rio by Rios Labs. And the idea is that they want to create a small board computer that is based on their own custom RISC-V board. You can kind of think of it like the equivalent of uh, like a Raspberry Pi, but instead of using an ARM CPU, they're using a RISC-V CPU. And their goal is to price it at the same price as a Raspberry Pi, so 35 bucks. Now, the whole reason why they want to do it was one, ARM CPUs, you have to license the uh, CPU cores and you have to pay a royalty to be able to use them. But with RISC-V CPU cores, there's no royalties associated with it. Another reason why they want to make something similar to this is that the only other SBC that's available on the market right now, or at least for consumer use, is the Sci-5, I believe that's what it's called, that $1,000 RISC-V single board computer that no one's gonna pay for. The OS that they plan on using on this single board computer is they wanna start off by using Chrome OS, which I'm not really in favor of them using Chrome OS because Chrome OS is, it's open source, but it's not really free software. If you catch my drift, there's this great article written by Richard Stallman that goes over the difference between free software and open source, open source software. And I'll link that in the description below. But the basic gist of it is that all free software is open source, but not all open source software is free. So I, I prefer if they didn't base it on that, but I understand why the Chromebooks are very popular devices and in their mind, they wanna try and target a similar market for that except using a RISC-V core instead of an ARM core. But one of the things that I thought was really cool is that the next operating system that they're aiming to target is Gen 2. And I love that prospect of having this small $35 computer running Gen 2. I think that's very, very cool. And I can't wait until they actually get that up and running. They plan on releasing this computer sometime this year, I believe. It said that the release was gonna be in the fourth quarter of this year and they plan on releasing different revisions of it. This is gonna be the first revision, and I believe next year is gonna be revision, revision 2.0, and then the year after that is gonna be revision 3.0. Going into the technical aspects of the SBC, it's gonna be a four core uh, customized RISC-V CPU. It's gonna be clocked at 500 megahertz per core. It's gonna have USB 3.0 support. It's gonna support uh, low power DDR4. Probably the thing that really blew my mind was when they were talking about the power draw of the SPC. They said that on idle it's going to be around 200 milliwatts and then on full load it's going to be around 500 milliwatts. And to put that into perspective, a Raspberry Pi Zero, this really junky piece of crap, single core, low power ARM device, at idle has 800 milliwatts of power draw and at full load like 1.2 milliwatts. So that's crazy. This is a four core CPU that has more performance at a lower power draw than a Raspberry Pi Zero. <sighs> crazy. The thing that I dislike though is they plan on incorporating a GPU, but the GPU that they're going with is one from a company called Imagination. And to put it in perspective, Imagination is the company that created the PowerVR GPU. This Nokia, so Nokia N900, uses a PowerVR GPU, and it's very frustrating because there's no Libra drivers for any PowerVR GPU, to my knowledge. That's kind of the main problem with the N900, and the reason why that happened was because when people approached PowerVR to try and create an open source, at least like open source uh, GPU driver, they basically just said no. And that sucks because now we have a whole bunch of devices that are using PowerVR GPUs that have no acceleration with any sort of Libra drivers. You're, you're forced to use a proprietary driver and those suck, especially on really old devices. I wish that they would instead go for something else. There's this really great GPU. I think it's called Kazam. It was created by, I forget, his name is Luke Kenneth Kaysen Layton. Long name, but he's the dude that came up with EOMA 68. It's like a, it's like a single board computer that you swap out of different housings and it's portable. It's it's really cool. I'll put a link of that in the description as well. But the reason why I bring him up is that he is working on a fully Libra Vulcan accelerated GPU based on RISC-V, and I think that'd be a perfect fit 
for what the uh, Rios lab people are doing. One of the big points that they brought up in their video was that they're trying to aim for a completely open source stack, but that the GPU, no matter which revision it is, it's still gonna be proprietary. By the way, I know why they're using Imagination Technologies. They're a big company. They have a lot of different resources. So it makes perfect sense to me. But I think if they're really aiming for that free and open source software stack and hardware stack, that they should go towards the GPU. Now, the, the GPU that I'm talking about is a GPU, a VPU, and a CPU all into one SOC. But one of the things that they mentioned on the website talking about it is that they can create the GPU separate from the SOC. So I think they can incorporate that technology into their CPU and it'd be a much better fit and it'd be great. Maybe not uh, on the same performance level as an imagination GPU, but definitely fits that idea of completely open source software. On the whole, I, I really like the idea of it. I love to have access to what's essentially a RISC-V version of the Raspberry Pi, just something really cheap that I can play around with. And hopefully that this company is able to get to that same level as a Raspberry Pi. And what I'm hoping is that this SBC will cause the same chain reaction as Raspberry Pi did. We'll get a whole bunch more different things to choose from, and it's gonna make the ecosystem much more diverse. Anyway, I just want to talk about that today. I, I'm really interested in all these uh, alternative ISA to x86, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what these people do. Anyway, that's all for now. I hope you all take care.